The nation of South Africa appears to be in significant trouble tonight. Anarchy across the country in the cities and outside the cities. From all what's happening right now, we go to Kenita Hunter. She is a political editor at News 24 in South Africa. She joins us from Johannesburg. Kenita, thanks so much for joining us tonight. So we're experiencing this mostly on social media. People are seeing videos of what's happening uh, in your country. Describe what's going on right now, if you would. Well, there has been three days of uh, unrelenting looting and violence in areas around Johannesburg, as well as Durban and surrounding areas, which you see uh, started as protest uh, against the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma. This was on Wednesday last week. Um, by Thursday, there were sporadic incidences of violence, but over the weekend, this intensified to what President Soro Maposa has now called a coordinated criminality dozens of malls, shopping centers, um, and now even warehouses and factories have been completely looted by thousands um, of people uh, 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 ac across the country um, in these, uh, around uh, these two major economic hubs. What you see is the police completely overburdened, unable to stop these um, violent and looting uh, scenes that unfolded um, in the country, with the president having to call in the South African National Defense Force on Monday to reinforce efforts by police. There's been 1,200 people that have been arrested, but 72 people have lost their lives so far. So uh, from this perspective, you see, we're seeing, we're playing video of it, on the screen right now of entire shopping malls being emptied, office buildings uh, being looted, as you said, factories burned. It looks like a big part of the economy of the country is being destroyed. Absolutely. And it is devastating to an economy that was already uh, Bruised by COVID-19, unemployment uh, is, you know, in the region of almost 40 percent, um, and the economy was struggling to get off uh, its feet. And now this is an added blow, particularly uh, to businesses al along the coast. Um, the, the, I mean, the situation is so bad in Durban that um, there are concerns around food and medicine security as a result of the looting. When you talk about medicine, um, there have has been concerns around attacks on storage facilities that hold COVID-19 vaccines. Um, this, the president, you know, said, is, would really hamper government's um, efforts uh, to fight the pandemic. Uh, to, you know, to give you an example, just this evening, government announced that 633 people died from the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and, and, you know, we are in the grips of a third wave. Yet what you see is thousands and thousands of people going out in the streets, wow. looting anything from TVs to fridges. What a tragedy um, and, a, and a complex story. We'll, we'll be on it. Queen Hunter, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you so much.